Kia ora everyone and welcome to Mr. Ong Math Lessons again. Today we are going to look at algebraic fraction which is similar of doing fraction in a numbers section but instead of just numbers we are going to replace that numbers with the letters of the alphabet. We shall look at some of the algebraic fraction that we can simplify. So the first example is it can be found in year 9 and year 10. We are going to simplify 4x to the power 4y squared divided by 2xy. So what you do, based on my previous example, so you're going to divide 4 by 2, so it's going to be 2 over 1. And then x4 and x1, you take away the power, so you're left with x cubed. And then y squared, take away y1, you are left with y. So the answer is going to be 2x cubed y. The second one is slightly more difficult. Again, number divided by number. 6 divided by 4 is going to be 3 over 2. You divide the 2 fraction. And then a squared divided by a, you just left with 1a because 2 minus 1 is going to be 1. b and b is just cancel out. There's nothing left. And C cubed over C5, there are more C's at the bottom by 2, so C squared. That is how you simplify a fraction. Now we are going to look at how to divide and multiply an algebraic fraction. So we shall look at multiplication first. If you remember your multiplication, you are going to multiply the numerator with the numerator and the denominator with denominator. In this case, so 4x multiplied by 6, 6y is going to be 24xy. And the denominator 3y times 2x squared is going to be 6x squared y. Is that the answer? No, you have to simplify them. So 24 divided by 6 is 4 over 1, or 4 will be fine. And then x over x squared, there are more x squared at the bottom, so there will be 1x at the bottom. At the denominator, I mean y and y will just cancel out. So that will be your answer. So simplify that. It's going to be 4 divided by x. Now we do it the second example. If you have a division, the first thing you do, you are going to multiply them. When you multiply them, 3x over 2y, what you do, you have to swap it over. The second fraction, you have to swap the way around. So it become multiplied by 4y squared divided by 6x squared. Now what you do, you're going to multiply the numerator with numerator. So 3 times 4 is 12xy squared. And the denominator has 2 times 6 is also 12x squared y. Then you're going to simplify them. 12 divided by 12 is going to be 1. x over x squared, there will be 1 x at the bottom because there are more x at the bottom. And y squared over y is going to be y. And that is how you simplify an algebraic fraction. Okay, now we're going to do some NCA papers. The first one is from the 2019 NCA. And we are going to simplify an addition of two fractions. Okay, there are uh, the easiest way, if you know if one quarter plus one third, what you do, you have to make it the same denominator. 12, 12, and then you multiply by 3 and multiply by 4, and the answer is 7 over 12. So this same principle is going to happen, okay? So to get 12, you are going to multiply by 3 in the first, and then multiply by 4 for the second one. So what you do, your denominator is going to be 12 as usual okay and then on this side you have to put the bracket 3 multiply by 8 minus 8x minus 1 and on that side is 4 multiply by 3x minus 5 over 12 then the next thing you do you're going to combine all into 1 so 3 bracket 8x minus 1 plus 4 bracket 3x minus 5 since they are the same denominator, you can divide the whole thing by 12. Then the next thing you do is by expanding. So 3x times 4, uh, 3 times 8x is 24x. 3 times minus 1 is minus 3. 4 plus 3, 4 times 3x is going to be 12x. And then 4 times minus 5 is minus 20. They divide by 12. 
And the last step you're going to do, you're going to like them 24 minus 2 plus 12x is 36x. Minus 3 minus 20 is minus 23 over 12. And I think that will be an achieve or a merit in NCA level 1. The next example is a lot harder. This is found in the 2018 NCA. Okay. So what we're going to do, the common denominator is going to be these two numbers here. So it's going to be the denominator is going to be x plus 1, x minus 2. Because these two numbers can divide by both of them. So if this number divide by x plus 1, you are left with x minus 2. And on the other side, when you divide the bot a denominator with that number, you are left with x plus 1, so it's going to be x plus 1. So now you're going to combine them, expand it. So 2x minus 4 plus 3x plus 3 in the numerator, and the denominator is still x plus 1, x minus 2. You can expand if you want to, but it's not necessary. Okay. Now the next thing is a like term. Look for the like term. So 2x plus 3x, you're going to get 5x. And then minus 4 plus 3, minus 4 plus 3, you can give you minus 1. Again, this could be an achieve or a merit in NCA level 1. Okay, we are going to do uh, the next part. Again, in 2019 NCA, you are going to simplify that algebraic fraction. Okay, when you have uh, algebraic fraction the easiest way to do is you're going to factorize the top and factorize the bottom if you can factorize the top you get an achieve and you can factorize the bottom or the denominator you will get another achieve so the first type of factorizing the first one is a single bracket factorizing took out the common factor so 3x is common then what's left is x plus 3 that is how you do a one bracket factorizing the second the uh, denominator, this is a different of 2 squared because a, x squared minus 9 squared is the same as x plus 3, x minus 3. Because if you do the trial and error method, plus 3, minus 3, this is 3x, this is minus 3x, and when you add them up, is 0x, that's what you get in the middle. So now, the next step, you are cancelling the common factors, so 3x and plus 3x, x plus 3 is the common denominator, and what you left is 3x over x minus 3, and this is definitely a merit in level 1. And of course, the last one is the hardest lot. It could be even as hard as in NCA level 2. Your job is to simplify that. Again, most people will take the easy way out, just cancel the x squared, which is not right. Okay, So the first thing you do when you have 2, an algebraic fraction, you need to factorize the numerator and factorize the denominator. If you factorize the numerator, xx is going to be plus 3 and plus 2, that will be 3x and 2x, and when you add them up, you give you 5x. So that's what you get in the middle. So the numerator is going to look like x plus 3, x plus 2, and the same thing for the denominator, x and x. It should be 3 and 1 plus 3 plus 1. When you cross multiply, 3x plus 1x. When you add them up, it's plus 4x. And that's what you get in the middle. So the new denominator will have x plus 3, x plus 1. And the last step, of course, you need to cancel out the common factors. So x plus 3 is common. And what's left is x plus 2, x plus 1. And that will give you a merit. But if you get either one of them right, that's an achieve. and another achieve. If you get both of them and you cancel them out, that will be a merit. Hope you learned something today. And keep practicing. And one day you'll be an algebra guru. Thank you for watching and have a good day.